Welcome to the first tutorial of the tween.js library file for animating objects within a web page. I've opened up that first tutorial JS fiddle file that I created and you can see here that we have everything we need to get started with our animation. In our HTML we've pulled in our libraries and I've created three objects. I've created a header object, the animate me, right there. I've created an image object, which is our Benny the Beaver, right there. And I've created a table object, um, a two by two table, right there. Just to kind of show you that it really doesn't matter what object it is, you can animate it using the tween.js library. The one thing you want to do is any object that's going to be animated with your style sheet, you want to make sure that any object that's going to be animated has an absolute position set. So our header we have position absolute, we, we haven't translated it so it's just sitting right in the corner. Our Benny the Beaver, we've just shifted him down 100 pixels from the top. Our table, we've shifted it down. 300 pixels from the top. So we're all set up now to start our animation. So if we look at the JavaScript window, this is where our tween.js library file is going to do its magic and get our animations going. A few setup things here. We have three different variables that we're going to be using. We have a position variable, a target variable, and a tween variable. The position variable just tells the um, the position variable is our starting location of the object that we're going to be animating. The target just identifies what object we want to be animated, and our tween is actually going to be our tween object. Our JavaScript file needs to do two things. It needs to call the init function, which initializes the tween object and then it calls the animate function which is our loop that updates all the different frames of the animation. So you'll notice that I've added a bunch of code or a bunch of commenting in with the code that you can read through and to kind of help you play around with when you open this up in JS Fiddle for yourself. But the first thing we do is create a position. This is our starting position. The position should always include an X position, a Y position, and a rotational position. So we're starting in the top left corner. X is 0, Y is 0, and we're starting in its standard orientation, so not rotated at all. The next thing you want to do is identify what target is going to be animated. In this case, we just pull a document.getElementById call on our header. So we're going to start by animating the header animate me. The next three lines of our code is what is building our tween object. To build the tween object, we have to assign a new tween dot tween and give it the position. We're, we put in the starting position as we initialize our tween object. The other things that we have to have in our tween object is a dot two. This tells us where we want the animation to end up. Where do we want the object to be traveling to within our web page? In this case, I've set it for X position 400, Y position 400, and a rotation of zero. So it's not going to rotate, and it's going to go from the top left corner to 400, 400. The other th number that comma 3000 that tells us that tells the object how long it has to animate. So that's in milliseconds. So 3000 means it's going to be a three second long animation. Our tween object also needs a dot on update. And this just tells the object what to do every time it's updated. And in this case, we're going to be calling the update function which we'll get to down here. Once we've, once we've built our tween, the next thing we want to do is to 
start the tween. So we call that by tween.start. I had that commented out so that the animate me wouldn't be animated yet. But we'll start, we'll call our tween.start, and that basically just says, hey, this tween's ready to go. So once it starts and gets, <clears throat> once the uh, animation gets called, it will start updating. So that's the end of our initialized function. So once we've gone through and initialized the position, the target, and built our tween object, the next thing that happens is our animate function is called. And the animate function just calls our request animation frame. And that basically creates our loop. <coughs> and then calls tween update which pushes out to our tween objects and makes them fire their on update calls. So that makes all of the tweens that are being animated call their update functions. And the update function just goes through and updates the object's position um, by adding however many pixels is being calculated in with that request animation frame. So let's see this in action. And you can see that the animate me went from 0, 0, the corner, all the way down to 400, 400. Now let's see what would happen if let's instead of using the header, let's say we want to animate our beaver instead. So we can change the target by changing the target of our animation. You can see that it picked the beaver head to get animated. Now one thing you'll notice is that the beaver head jumped from the corner because remember we started the beaver down 100 pixels and we are starting the animation at zero. So if we wanted it to be smoother, we could set the starting position of our animation to be 100. So now the starting position matches up with the starting position of Benny itself. And you can see now we have a smoother transition. And again, we can change the target to table. And the table started at position 300, so we can start our starting position there. And now instead of the beaver being animated, it will be our table that animates. So this is the basics. Go ahead and open up that JFiddle and play around with it a little bit. And then you can move on to the next tutorial.